So I'm going to have my first water. My throat is really dry, so I'm starting like kind of like trying to get more saliva uh, as I'm talking right now. But I'm gonna have my first water. It's been four days without food or water, so here we go. I'm really excited. But uh, it's just this little cup to start with. It's always good to kind of take it very slow, just like when you do a fast, when you're breaking a fast and you're reintroducing foods. You want to take it very slow. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to shock the, you know, the body. So just taking a little bit. So this is a very little cup of some water. So here we go. What's up, fasters? How's it going? This is my fourth day of doing dry fasting. And I wanted to kind of show a video because it's come to the point I've been seeing patients. I still have a couple more to go and my throat is super dry and I know this is a common symptom that you can get with prolonged dry fasting but I really can't keep up with it I'm starting to get you know a slight headache so I'm just going to start going transitioning to my water fast portion of it so I've done as of this time right now I've actually gone a full 40 uh, no, I'm sorry a full four days complete four days without food or water doing a complete dry fast and for to let you guys know, I know probably people might comment, is it a hard dry fast or a soft dry fast? To, I did a soft dry fast because I see patients every day. I do have to wash my hands just for sanitation purposes as well as brush my teeth. I am talking to people all day long and that can just hygiene. So I, there's no way I could have done a hard dry fast. So it, I did a soft dry fast. And of course I had a shower, you know, every couple days. But so I'm going to have my first water. My throat is really dry, so I'm starting like kind of like trying to get more saliva uh, as I'm talking right now. But I'm gonna have my first water. It's been four days without food or water, so here we go. I'm really excited. But uh, it's just this little cup to start with. It's always good to kind of take it very slow, just like when you do a fast, when you're breaking a fast and you're reintroducing foods. You want to take it very slow. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to shock the, you know, the body. So just taking a little bit. So this is a very little cup of some water. So here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't realize how much you can desire water, but that was amazing. It was very interesting because as I was drinking, it seemed like my mouth was actually absorbing the water because of how dry it was. I felt like the water didn't even get really necessarily down my throat and down to my stomach. I think my mouth pretty much just absorbed the entire thing. Wow. Mm. That, was, that was great. <laughs> I just wanted to kind of show you, you know, my reaction uh, doing that. I'm sure some of you dry fasting experts have done more days, but I'm cutting it out four days and then continuing on my seven day fast journey with just a water fast. So if you wanna follow my journey, I'll keep posting these updates every day. As far as my results, I kinda of already said in my last one because it's it was just uh, later today that I, I'm doing this video, but I haven't measured my weight currently, but where it has stand so far, I've lost a total of just over 10 pounds so far just in four days. It might be even a little bit more because I haven't measured it yet. but. And that's pretty significant um, and that's why you know with dry fasting people typically say you know one day of dry fast is equivalent to three days of water fast it's not scientifically you know proven I know there is I can't remember the doctor's name but the dry fasting doctor expert um, out in Russia that's where it's in his book but still it's not really scientifically proven in any way but I certainly do believe that there is probably double, maybe triple, but I would say double least of the benefits, especially looking at just from weight, from a weight loss perspective, from a three day water fast, I don't lose as much. I probably lose maybe about five to six, maybe seven at the most. So that's pretty, you know, significant. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm moving over transitioning to the water fast. And like I said, if you want to follow my journey, you can hit the subscribe button. I'll leave a link somewhere up here. And then you can check out different other fasting videos that we do play on this channel. But we also do some other health tip videos that I'm going to start doing more of, of how to treat um, 
of their health conditions uh, naturally. But uh, yeah, so I will keep updating this video. And I also, when I decide, when I hit seven days, and I'll let you guys know if I decide to kind of go further. Me, I'm just listening to my body, seeing how far I want to extend it. And then from there, I also will show you how I break my fast and how to break the fast properly. I'll kind of do a little bit more behind the scenes. If you guys like more of these types of videos, please let me know in the comment section below and comment below. That way I kind of know if I want to kind of keep, you know, showing this kind of stuff behind the scenes. If you guys are more interested in those types of videos, then I will certainly start doing it. Okay, enough me jabbering at you guys. I'm going to leave. And until next time, this is Dr. Logan signing out. Thanks. Bye.